uh, he just don't want nothing Come good on. to happen. That's just y'all good. We know we listen to him, thank God. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Thank God. So, how many of you here tonight are in love with Jesus? Yes. Woo! You are just sold out in love like you've never been before. Amen. Because Amen. something about that good love that changes your life. Come on now. So you can have a bad love and that will completely make you dysfunctional. But when you got a good love, Come on, sis. that love right there will completely change your lifestyle. How you doing stuff that you never thought you would do before. Amen. And that's the kind of love that we have from our father. Amen. 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 So I'm going to do this with this one real quick. And I need y'all to help me. When I say he's my first, I need y'all to shout love. Can y'all say that with me? Yes. Right, we got you. We're going to try it out real quick. He's my first love. He's my first love. He's my first love. love. All right, let's go. All right. And you tired of him, 
Let me say, no looking back. Let me hear you say it. No, no looking back. back. One more time, say it. No, no looking back. back. One more time, say it. No, no looking back. back. Oh, I've been traveling in this world too long. I've been trying to find my way back home. You see that old me's dead and gone, dead and gone, dead and gone. Ah, I've been traveling this world for as long as I can remember, and though I never want to admit it, y'all have always been a sinner. It was a sin that I was formed, because that's the way my mother created me. But as of today, I'm serving notice on the enemy. And Satan, though, even though you tried to attack, in fact, tonight, you ain't going to gird up your Lord's cup tonight. I'll call the attack out. Take it back every Right. Ooh. Ooh. Um, taking back all my women who ever felt neglected. I'm taking back all my women who know what real self-reject is. I'm taking back all my women who made wrong choices and men. And before you knew it, you ended up in all kinds of sin. I'm taking back all my women who felt like giving up. You just wanted to leave this earth. I'm taking back my women who never truly understood a real woman's worth. Come on. But like I said before, Satan, now I'm on the attack because I've been washed by the blood and there's no, no. turning turn turn back. back. Yeah. Satan, check this. Tonight, I'm here to tell you, on the front line, we got some soldiers, and though the older generation may have dropped the ball, guess what, this Joshua generation is getting older. You <laughs> tried everything you could to keep my young men from reaching heaven, so to all my men, men out here listening, I want redemption back for you, and I want to tell seven. Oh, I'm taking back all my men who grew up way too quickly, because maybe daddy wasn't around, he was like, mama don't know what to do with me. I'm taking back my young men who don't understand what it means to treat their women as queens, because you blinded by the pages in this cynical magazine, Satan's trying to keep you bound so that heaven's not your view. You ain't gonna find no good woman on the porn site. I don't care what your dudes is telling you. I'm taking back all my young dudes who are addicted to the streets, selling drugs on purpose, having kids at a young age and being labeled as a statistic. It's time to end this vicious cycle, y'all. It don't matter what your daddy did. In fact, read Jeremiah 29, 11. Your true father's gonna show you what your purpose is. Jesus. So if that's you in Christ, there's no one, there's no lack. So you just give Satan the smack and tell him there's no, no looking, looking back. back. The old me daddy gone, so when the two became one flesh, yeah. on the play there is like, oh, y'all, we bind up that mess. And since you keep wanting to tear my marriages apart, you want them redefined by state? I'm going to take back every last marriage up in here, and I want it redefined times eight. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to take back the divorce rate in the Christian community seems to be soaring because when you said I do, he said I does. You didn't know that thing became a lifetime commitment. Now you're looking at each other like you boring. <laughs> See, when God leads you to the man and the woman in your life that you need, he will give you all the spice, spice that you would ever need. When things get a little rocky in your life, you better open up your Bible and start to read. See, I'm taking back all my marriages and know how it feels to have two income coming in, but you still get that disconnect bill. Jesus, come on, sis. Don't let Satan just tear apart your marriage and your finances apart. You just look at him and laugh and tell him you've been washed by the blood and there's no, no looking back. back. So if you've ever been sick of Satan up in your house, in your family, in your kids, in your relatives, in your schools, sometimes even in your pulpit. That tonight, you and I, let's make a pact. Let's tell Satan together that we've been washed by the blood and that there's no looking back. All right. So as I, as I do this, this lesson, it's funny how when you allow the Lord to change what you want, he would do that. And I had something else in mind I was going to do, but when God says do something, obedience is better than sacrifice. Amen. Amen. So this is for someone, I don't know who it is that you messed up again. And you're feeling like the Lord won't reconcile you unto him. And you're having problems coming to him, admitting your guilt because you feel so bad about it that you feel you need to carry it. And you can't let that thing go. Coming to church don't save you. Mama, daddy, grandma, and them, they can't save you. Just showing up just to be a bitch woman, that don't save you. You need the presence, yep. the manifest presence of God, his Holy Spirit, working, operating through you. Yes. And just as hard, as fast as you chase after sin, that's how hard you got to chase after God. Yes. So if you just need to just pour out your, your heart to God. You know you've been messing up. You've been out of order. You've been coming to church and shouting and jumping through the aisles and just singing all over it. You know you're out of order. You out of line. None of us are exempt. 
Not even me. Then tonight, let this be your cry. The Lord just, I need you. I can't do this without you. Please, dear me, Father, Lord God, pour out your presence upon me. Should've, should've known better, should've been praying. 